Hello and welcome to the Zanata Consulting Tutorial Series. This is our second in our series on Zoho Mail. If you didn't see the first, I do want to point out that there are the settings for admin is in a completely different spot than you find it in most other Zoho apps. Uh, here, if I go to just the standard mail.zoho.com and I happen to be a male, uh, the settings here really are not going to apply at all for what you need to do when setting up your organization. For that, you're actually going to want to go to mailadmin.zoho.com. That will bring you to this dashboard. And from this dashboard, you actually can configure your organizational setting. In the last one, we talked basically about how to quickly set up your domain, configure your MX records, your SPF, your DKIM, the basic things that need to happen there, um, as well as a hidden little thing about how you can go ahead and set up your catch-all. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about users. So when you go and you look at the overall users tab, it's going to give you a complete list of users. In this case, there is just me. Um, but once you've gone in and you've got that user set up, you have here the ability to go ahead and edit them, set up their, their admin role, their status, uh, what you've enabled for them. Uh, you can go ahead and add them to any groups. So let's say you want to have a group called marketing at your organization. Uh, you could create that group and then go ahead and add maybe the three people are in the marketing department. So if a mail email ever comes into marketing at brokenpretzel.com, it would go to those four or five people. You also can dive a little deeper into the mail settings. You can set up aliases for them here. This is very important. Uh, maybe you've got someone who is, um, you know, doing some work for another company and you still want to have that domain be yours. You can just do company name at your domain, set up an alias associated with the person who's doing the work. And anytime an email comes into them, it to that email address, it will go directly to them. This really isn't going to be confused with a catch-all because a catch-all is like, if this email doesn't exist, then send it to this one person. In this case, this would override the catch-all because it would be a specific email going to a specific person and it's just an alias. Uh, these can come in handy all the time. Sometimes you want to do a specific one, maybe info or support and you want to have that to go to a certain person in your organization that's where you go ahead and set up the aliases if you wanted to forward this person's email that's where you would do it here as well you can also handle their out of office for them and their signature you can also by the way the person is allowed to handle these things themselves back in the regular mail admin console but here you as an admin can go ahead and configure a person's signature maybe they're out of office and they forgot to set an out of office, you can go ahead and set their out of office for them back here as well without having any access to their account. So this really comes in handy, super nice feature of Zoho Mail that they add that in. Also, you've got all your anti-spam settings. Uh, you've got, you know, people that you're allowing, people you're blocking. Uh, Zoho has their own spam that they use to try to filter it out. But uh, you can go ahead and block and allow based on domains and email addresses. And this is kind of your own private little spam that you're setting up. Also, this is where the storage is managed. Uh, you know, basically everybody gets the five gigs if they're on this plan. And if you have other storage that you want to go ahead and uh, set up for them, you can buy these additional storage plans for all of your users as well. And then on the back end, on the security side, you can allow certain IP addresses. So maybe you only want people to log into their email account when they're at your office. You do not want them to log into it from outside the office. Basically, you can restrict uh, when a user can log into the organization based on their IP addresses, you can go ahead and change their password on the back end. Uh, those are kind of the big ones you want to touch there. And then you can also look at the overall login session and the overall session history. So what IP addresses they were coming from and everything they were doing. That's pretty much it on the user side. Those are the big things that you uh, that you kind of want to take care of when you're setting up a user. Again, some real nice features, um, especially I think on setting up emails for their email signatures for everybody and being able to set an out of office for someone if in fact uh, maybe it was unexpected or they forgot to set that. So those are the basic user, user settings in mailadmin.zoho.com. Hey, we hope you found this useful. And if you want more information from us, please be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And don't forget our newsletter. Just go to zanata.com slash newsletter to subscribe to that. Every week, we give you all the latest and greatest Zoho news, tips, tutorials, and also a link to the CRM Zen show where we talk about all things Zoho every week. Thanks for listening.